This is an exam question from 2003, it's question 6 and it's from January. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk through how you'd write this. It's worth 5 marks in total. First thing, we've got to uh, write this list of numbers in descending order. So starting with the biggest, so I want the biggest and smallest is going to be on the right of the list. So, the first thing I'm going to show is, I apologise for, for using... Uh, typing here, it's because my handwriting is not going to be very good using the mouse, but I'm writing out the list of numbers as they are, uh, and now I'm going to show the examiner that I know what I'm doing by saying, right, there's the list of numbers, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the first two. So I'll compare those two, now we're going in descending order, so I want the biggest to be first. Uh, they're already in the right order, so then we move on to the next two numbers, so I don't really do anything there. The next two numbers, uh, write them out again, and when we've written them out, we need to again show the examiner that we, we know what we're doing by showing him or her that we're comparing the next two numbers, that's the 22 and the 30 here. Now in this case, we are going to swap them over because they're in the wrong order. So the next time we write our list of numbers, 30 will be before 22 they swap round and the rest just follow in like that. Now the next comparison is going to be the 22 with the 18. They're in the right order, remember where the smallest is going to be on the on the, on, on the, uh, the right in descending order. So don't do anything, move on to the next numbers, write them out. Now this seems to be taking ages but this is the first pass, the first pass we do write in detail so the next two numbers that we're comparing is the 18 with the 29. They're in the wrong order because they're not in descending order, they're in ascending order. So we now need to show that we understand by swapping those round. 25, 30, 22 are on the right order, tw uh, all, sorry, as they should be. But 18 and 29 swap round. Our next comparison is between 18 and 21, slowly moving through. And what we we'll see is that 18, which we can see as human beings, which is the smallest number, uh, the 18, the 18 is going to be the one which bubbles off at the end. So the 18 and 21 are swapped on this pass. This pass is going to be comparing the 18 with the 27. So we compare the 18 and the 27, show that we do that by putting that. Just say perform the first pass of the bubble sort, given the stage after each exchange so that's really what what this whole is this is part one of the question uh, that again write them all out uh, the 18 swapped with the 27 because it was smaller and we're getting near to the end now of the first pass 18 just now needs to compare with 21 it should have been neater but uh, doesn't matter so the 18 swaps with the 21 and we've finished the first pass now to show that we've finished the first pass and not what that has achieved is that the 18 is definitely in the right place is that we put a box around the 18 now and I'm going to use red so that's the end of the first pass that's part A of the question part 1 of the question sorry part 2 perform further passes giving the state of the list after each pass it's quite easy to do just by just by writing it down so as I'm going to go through this is what happens on the second pass get rid of that, let's get on my wick uh, as we go through what I'm going to do is show what's happening at the end of each pass. Now the 25 would swap with the 30, but it wouldn't swap with the 22. The 22 would swap with the 29. The 22 would be blocked by the 21. The 21 would go through the 27. And the 21 meets another 21 at the end. So we're left with that at the end of this second pass. I'm going to put a box around this 21. It's definitely in the right place. Now next pass, same idea, the 30 is blocked by the 25, the 25 gets through the 29 because it's smaller, the 25 is blocked by the 22, the 22 gets through the 27, the 22 now is blocked by the 21 which is now the smallest and so we've finished that pass there for the box around the 21. Next pass, 30 is blocked by 29, 29 is blocked by 25, 25 goes through 27 because it's smaller, 25 now is blocked by 22, 22 is the smallest. So at each time we go through the list, swap them round if they're in the wrong order, and the wrong order in this case is 
if the smallest is before the biggest it's wrong. Next pass, well you can see actually that they're in the right order, 20, 30, 29, 27 is blocked by 25, 25 is now in the smallest, uh, is now definitely the smallest number, it's in the right place, but because nothing happened we can also conclude that these are also in the right place. So if you can go do an entire pass with nothing happening, they must be in the right order. That's worth five marks in an exam.